What is going on? And we had another edition of Quizzing Mr. Poe. <laughs> Today, we are going to talk about Citizens Science Month. So they're gonna quiz me questions scientifically and I'm gonna dissect them hypothetically. Mm, girl, let's do it. Don't forget, you better like that video and subscribe. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Poe, are you yes. ready for your questions? Hit me, man. Go ahead. All right, question number one. What is H2O, also known as? We have A, fire, B, water, or C, soil? Oh, man, I'm going to go with uh, agua, which is water. <laughs> Mr. Poe, you are correct. All right. Uh, one point on the board. Let's go. Question number two. Oh, man. What causes ocean tides? We got A, the moon, B, the sun, or C, the wind? The moon. Final answer? That's the final answer. Well, Mr. Poe, you are correct. All right! You know how I know that? Wow. School. <laughs> Who is a citizen scientist? A. Albert Einstein, B, Isaac <laughs> Newton, or C, anyone? C, anyone. Mr. Poe, you are correct. Oh my goodness, I'm in a row. <laughs> so yes, uh, anyone can be a citizen scientist. Okay. The average person can be a citizen scientist. You can be a citizen scientist, I can be a citizen scientist, your neighbor, your kid, whoever. But anyone can participate in Citizen Science Month. Your fourth question. Oof, I can tell it's tough. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just, the way your tone, I can tell. Go ahead. <laughs> Where is citizen science done? A, only on Earth. B, only in space. Or C, both. Dang, wait, there's no citizens in space. Unless you're an alien. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with both <laughs> because... What if you're a citizen, an astronaut, and you're experimenting in outer space as well, but you could also be experimenting here on Earth? So I'm gonna say both. Well, Mr. Poe, you're a genius because it is C, both. All right. <laughs> yeah, so actually, citizen science can actually be conducted on in space. As in well. space. Okay, cool, cool, cool. A lot of it is on Earth, but yes, there have been cases where there has been citizen science done in space. Wow, that's amazing. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah, it makes me want to be a citizen science man, person. Right. So Mr. Poe, what is citizen science? What is citizen science, you say? Citizen science connects scientists and everyday people to help accelerate research and discovery, from astronomy to zoology. It is fun, but it is also serious science, and anyone can participate. Visit the link down below to join the Citizen Science Initiative and learn more about Citizen Science. <laughs> All right, Mr. Poe, question number five. What is the largest internal organ in the human body? We have A, the small intestine, B, the liver, or C, the stomach. Oh, I thought you were going to say skin, because I know skin is also an organ. Is but then it? you said internal organ, so give me a second. I'm going to go with liver. Mr. Poe, I'm sorry, but your streak continues because it was B, the liver! All right! <laughs> Don't fall over now. You are currently five for five. How's it feel? It feels, it feels nice. <laughs> it feels really nice. All right, we're moving on to question number six. Oh, man. What is the hardest naturally occurring mineral? Is it A, diamonds, B, titanium, or C, obsidian? I'm gonna go with diamond, but I don't know if diamond is a mineral. That doesn't make any sense. Obsidian either, they're both <laughs> rocks, but I'm gonna go with diamond. Well, let's see what happens. Well, Mr. Poe, you are correct. It is a diamond. Oh! <laughs> Yo, that was scary, man. I didn't know uh, the, uh, diamonds are uh, minerals. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. So you can eat it. 
Your final question, Mr. Poe. If you get this correct, you will have a perfect game. <laughs> question seven. How old is the Earth? Is it A, four billion? Years old. B, three billion? Years old. Or C, two billion? Years old. That's tough. Funny I can just go back in time and find the answer. I'm gonna go with the biggest number there is. Four billion. Well, Mr. Poe, congratulations. You got a perfect game. It was a four billion. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, checking out Citizen Science Month. Uh, hey, man. All right.